We got destroyed, didn't we, Tan Tan? Welcome to the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! Challenge. A series where players spin the wheel and build their decks around the results, clashing against each other in a duel decided by fate. In this series, me and Farva will be spinning two wheels once, the wheel of attribute and the wheel of type. Once the spins have decided the contents of our decks, we have to come up with a build using monsters only from those two spins. Dueling afterwards to see who's the greatest wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! challenger. There are certain rules though. For instance, the players that spin an incompatible attribute and type, let's say you get water and thunder, this player will get to choose one of the wheels to spin again. Staples won't be allowed unless they either directly support your deck or are part of the archetype you're playing. For instance, if you're playing Harpies, which is a wind, wind beast archetype, you can run a Harpies Feather Duster. Or if you're playing Warriors, you can run Reinforce of the Army. The winner of the challenge will get to have one spin on the wheel of staples. So you can unlock awesome staples along your deck building challenge every single week. This is the Wheel of Yu Gi Oh! Challenge. Let's begin. <laughs> Episode number nine, baby. We're back here at the winner's table, at the winner's chair. You guys already know, last week you guys saw Annihilation that I gave Farfa. I destroyed him, sent him to Shadow Realm with Light Dinosaur, an attribute and type that he got, which he decided to respin. What? Guys, I told you I'm the Dino Master. Dino DNA. Guys, don't forget to smash the let me heck on that thumbs up button. So without further ado, 3,000 plus likes, let's do it. Let's get started with the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! Challenge, episode number 9. Let's do it, guys. Let's see what we got today. Come on. Wind! Wind. Let's go to types. Let's see what we have wind. Hmm. Ooh! Wind Beast! Man, if I got wind, wing beast, I would've played heart beast. That would've been absolutely amazing. But let's see if we play anything with wind beast. I wanna see if even we cook up something with wind beast. All right, guys, so basically wind beast is already an archetype that far from played before. I am gonna play this deck and teach him how to properly play wind beast monsters. All right, guys, let's go on with this and get a spin from the wheel of staples. So far, we already got four staples unlocked. We got delinquent duo, we got premature burial, lightning storm, and fiber jar. Now we get a chance to spin at the wheel once again. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on. Oh, cyber dragon. Oh, I like Cyber Dragon. That's a free summon. That is a free summon. I like that. We gotta play Cyber Dragons in our deck now. That is amazing. I can't think of anything more humiliating, Tan Tan, than having rolled a specific attribute and type and then being destroyed by the attribute and type I decided was unplayable and not able to make a coherent strategy. I thought Ojamas would be a good deck. And in all fairness to the Ojama archetype, I wasn't able to use half the support cards, but regardless, I thought Emperor would be enough. But it wasn't enough, was it, Tan Tan? What is it? You know what? Hey, what are you doing? What are you looking at? Wait, wait, come here. There you go. Well, I'm Chris Hansen. Tan Tan, I want you to tell them that this week Farfa is going to read every single card on the field. And he is going to... Man, you know to, what? I'm okay, tired of you! Care. With the power of just reading the cards on the field present at any given opportunity in time, we're going to be able to get a comeback here. So no staple wheel for me this time. Wow. Sad. That's fine. We're going to begin with the attribute and see what we get this week. And it is... Can't go wrong with dark. And for our types, of which we could potentially re-roll, there's multiple amazing darks that we could get. We're going to get for our type this week. I've literally got this exact one. <laughs> dark insect. Okay, we're not doing this again. Once again. Nani? Now, for the third time, let's see if we can get a different type to play this week. No. One more time, let's see if we can get a different type that we haven't played before. Alright guys, so we have to work with Wind Beast for today's episode, all right? So first and foremost, let's go on to the Yosenju strategy route. I like Yosenju's, I think it's really, really good. So we're gonna play Triple Dieback, Triple My Yosenji High Tot, because Pendulum something is broken, okay? So we need to understand that. Oyam is good. Uh, let's play Triple Sapphire Pegasus. 
Uh, Dinotherium is great. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Dinotherium once per turn this way. When summon this way, your opponent can target one monster in the other player's graveyard. You can special that target to the side of the field. Amazing. Okay, so it's a free monster reborn for him. Let's play more of the Yosenju monsters. We got Mystic and we got Magat right here. Uh, which is not that bad. Cannot be special summon except for Pendulum Summon. This card, Pendulum Summon, cannot be negated. If this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target two cards on the field. Turn them to the hand. So, so let me play. So we're gonna play Triple Obedience School. Obedience School is nice because I'll just play two Scout, two Marksman, and two Squadron. And the reason why these are so good is because these cards are big tribute monsters. So I can go with Obedience School, summon one of these guys, tribute for dieback. Which is amazing. So our deck is really good at going second. Let's play our our staple cards: Premature Burial, Lightning Storm. Okay, Delinquent Duo. Put Fiber Dragon in the side deck. He got also Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon is really good. Okay, so we're gonna play Triple Secret Moves. This card is broken. If you control all monsters, activate one of the following effects. Also, for the rest of this turn, after the card itself, you cannot special monsters except for your Sentry Monsters. I want level five or higher. You send your monster for your deck to your hand. Okay, so it's a going second base deck for sure. So I'm going to triple channeling. You send you sword sting. If you control no monsters, you're up to you send your monster with different names in your hand. Target to see the number of face of card you put in control, turn them to the hand. Not bad. Maybe we can play one copy of this. Or we can just put the rest in the side deck. We're gonna go Horn of the Phantom Beast. Okay, we're gonna play three copies of this. This is our one of our best back rolls that we have access to. Whoa. One turn wind monster you control returns to the hand. Oh, this card is good. Yeah, this yeah, Divine Wind of Miss Valley is at one. We, we, we can play this. This is my deck. You send you beat down. I'm gonna prove to Farfa that I can build a better deck than him when it comes to using the Yosenju monster. So obedience school is really nice. One of Phantom Beast, Secret Moves is just absolutely broken. I think these cards are just amazing. And the reason why Secret Moves is so good is because when I expel a trap card or if monster effects activated, one you control at least one you send you card, and all face up monster controls are your send you monsters, negate the activation you do, destroy that card. It's a solemn judgment for the deck. As long as I control your send you monster, your send you secret moves become absolutely broken. So let's see how this deck works. Let's see what deck Farfa has for us today. I want to see what we can go with this deck, guys. I'm excited. I'm actually very very excited. I mean, you know where this is going, right? Do I need to say anything? You know exactly where this is going. So let's just get on and make the deck already and just clear it out and show Sam exactly how we play Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2021, baby. Oh, full power! More! More! Yeah, dude, yep. Yeah, if I lose this week, honestly, it's gonna be probably one of the most humiliating things that could ever happen. Truth be told, guys, truth be told. Okay, as much as I would love to play Burning Abyss, I really don't think it's the way to go. I'm not gonna lie, Dart World is a lot easier. Let's play Dart World. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with that. All right, this, this, this. These guys, these ones are good. Play all the staples. Gates of Dark World. We definitely want at least a couple of Dart World Lightnings in, the, in, in here. Probably side like one or two of them. Probably want a Dart World dealings. I don't want to like give him too much card advantage, but you know, it is what it is. Charge into Dart World is target level four or lower fiend in your grave. Special summon it and then discard a fiend. Put one in for now. Forces of Darkness is target two of Dart Worlds and add them to your hand. Yeah, we can play like one or two of these. Brainwashing, I'm pretty sure is DD Crow. When your opponent active monsters activates its effects, if you have three more cards in your hand, you can target a Dart World monster in the field return to hand and then act the activity effect becomes discard random card from your opponent's hand. Oh wow, yeah, this thing is like pretty good, I'm pretty, I'm quite sure. Cards that I think work well in here like Trance Archfiend, so I'm definitely gonna play that. Uh, without a doubt, of course, we're gonna play Tour Guide, Tour Guide. Not sure what we want to summon off her though. Probably a Skarm for another search, I suppose. I think Silvas are pretty decent. Dark Smog, I think is pretty good actually. Once per turn, I'm also on your point's grave, discard a fiend and then banish that tar. I do like this card, I like this card a lot actually. My one out of emptiness, my red reboot in the side, my eight evenly matched in the side. Oh, I want to play Gores so much. I can't play these continuous traps if I play Gores. <laughs> okay, I'll side these cards. And, uh, yeah. Please cut Gores, you have a field spell. Oh, damn it! Alright, let's go with a Fiend Griefing. Could add a Farfa for Griefing. If I draw this, I'm gonna be really angry, though. Must be specialed by banishing Fiverr, but... Whoa, dude, yeah. Eater of Millions is actually really good. Should I play this? It is a cost, but, like, I mean, it's a good card. It's 3k and it pops something. It's kind of nice. When you take battle damage, special this card from your hand. Oh, wait, actually, no. Tragodia isn't like Gores. You don't need no cards to special summon it. Okay, that's hilarious. Let's play a Tragodia. Should I play three Eater of Millions? One Tribute Monster? One little Tribute Boy? 
That sounds funny. I like it. I'm all about the comedy. I wanted to hold off on a lure because I just, you know, I wanted to keep the mimosas in my hand, but that's kind of cool. All right, we can cut charge. Okay, let's drop reboot to the side. So much better. What'd you get, man? <laughs> you just want me to tell you? Okay. No, no, right. no, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, just... I got something that is uh, pretty strong. I think if anyone got this, they would say, yep, Farf was going to win, but... Okay, okay, but, okay, you but know, it's you. Dex only it's as you. good as the pilot, and what can I say? I might have got my pilot license uh, at the bottom of the ocean when I <laughs> fell down there after last week, but that's okay, Sam. <laughs> that's okay, all right. All right, you know what? So far, I got four staples, you got three. No, I got five staples. You got three. We always you know go what? in second for the card advantage. Uh, well, guess what, Farva? I'm also. Ooh. Got something? Got a spicy hand there? Oh, I do got a spicy hand. But I don't know if I can. I don't, Is it I don't spicy want to... in the sense that it's a pile of garbage? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, why did you make me go first, man? Oh, you don't have an extra deck either. Oh no. Yeah, I don't have an extra deck again, but my deck is playable. <laughs> All right, my main deck, deck leaders, I believe. I'm scared now. Like, you didn't want to go first. Like, I'm, I'm scared now. Give me a second. Um, let me see. Hmm. Damn it. Okay. You know what? I'm saying my turn. Whoa. Okay. All right. Well. Ah. <sighs> You know what? I'm just down to like play the game. Okay. So let's begin with. You have a 15 extra deck too. Wow. <sighs> let's start with this one, Sam. This is this is gonna reveal how pretty, pretty, pretty fortunate dark, I am this week. Dark, dark dragons, dark dragons. You're playing dark dragons. <laughs> dark, dark dragons. Dragon. Dark dragons. Uh, dark spellcaster. Right, let's go with this. Dark fiend. Dark <gasps> fiend, Sam. <laughs> what's what's a dark fiend? Oh, the burning yeah. abyss. Burning I like that. Oh, Sam, I'm not gonna lie, I did almost go with Burning Abyss, but you know what the problem? There's nothing to problem? make with Burning Abyss monsters. Oh, yes, yes, He's yes. a light warrior. No, bro, isn't a Sherbini a, a fiend? Dark fiend? It's a fairy. What? Yeah, so I, I couldn't go with it. Okay, that's um, fine, that's fine, okay. Let's see here. Um, e yeah, I'm gonna show you this boy, Sam. Oh, you're playing Dark Worlds. Yeah, dude. Dark Worlds. Wow. I mean, it was wow. very close between this or DDD, but DDD is kind of like big brain, and my brain's wow. medium. So, <laughs> Dark World deals. Yes, I like that. I like the free. All right. Let's see if I can game you with these discards here. Oh my god, my strategy just it just it just ruined. Did you draw a garnet? I drew. I drew the garnet. Is that a little engine requirement you don't want to see in your opening hand? That is so bad. I literally lost <laughs> because I drew this card. Is it a Water Thunder uh, driver? Man, this is really, really unfortunate. <laughs> all right, bro. I'm, I'm just going to reveal my archetype right now, all right? Ready? Okay. Oh, you got Wind Beast as well? <laughs> Sam, I'm not going to lie. Your, your staple wheel gave me uh, Dark Insect three times. <laughs> so I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, bro. As soon as I saw the beast, I'm like, yo, again? How many times did both of us get beasts? Okay, you're yep. making, yo, you're making me draw cards, bro. Oh Ooh. yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. I don't think it matters, Sam. It's uh, it's game. You have game. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh yeah, you're pretty sure you do, huh? You're pretty sure. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, you're pretty sure you do. Okay, all right. Wait, so you go win beast? But there's nothing to do with Wind Beast. You just play the exact same deck I did last week. I don't think you can... Because there's, there's so few ways to play it. You just have to go with your Yosenjus, right? That must be what you've done. Yes, exactly. But there's also another strategy behind my Yosenjus strategy. Okay, Farfa? Just... Okay, okay. If you don't kill me, I can at least do something. Four, that's six, all I got to say. Eight, if you don't kill me this round, I, I, I can eight, at least 83. do something. 83. No, that's game. It's game? <laughs> yeah. Wow, 2000. Wow. You got Eater of Millions? Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. Let's go. How's this uh, game? This is six. This is 60, 68. How was sixty-eight game? No, no, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's not a game. Did you say it was game? Well, yeah. I'm summoning another dude. What dude are you summoning? A beater of billions. Oh, that is so. 
<laughs> wow, you monster. This guy drew everything. <laughs> oh my god. You monster. <laughs> you, you monster. You freaking monster. That that I didn't even know what the heck happened there, bro. I just sat there. I'm like I don't really know what either, man. I just discard some cards and there you go. Yeah. Dark fiends, baby. <laughs> Dark fiends. Oh my god. Alright, it's deciding we go, Sam. Alright, I'm, I'm I'm done deciding, man. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. okay. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna waste Sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com. <laughs> I'm going second. Yo, this is like speedrun, Sam. I'm like, I'm, I'm done. Oh, what the <laughs> hell? Huh? What? What? Yeah, you break. <laughs> what the hell? You break, didn't you? Uh, Sam, what do like five Dark World monsters do? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> GG! I have OTK! <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Okay. Yo, Sam, did you draw a delinquent duo? Okay. Okay, let me, let me, let me read. Huh? Sure, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me read. Give me a second. You try <laughs> one, you send your card in your pendulum zone. Oh, pendulum, nice. I think I have game, actually. No, I you I don't. Have, I think I have game. No, you don't. I, I, I think I do. Okay, bro. <laughs> you're, you're, you're laughing at me right now, right? Are you really laughing at me right now? Like well, I mean, I've played Wind Beast, unfortunately enough, and uh, I think it was hard to put a monster on the board, never mind 8,000 damage. <laughs> okay, that's one way to do it. Is there even an, enough Wind Beast targets for three or lower? Why didn't I play Obedience Good? I can't remember. Oh, because oh, you wanted to play the Squadron, right? Okay. Whoa, right, so you went with the fur hire engine. Yeah, I went with like your Senges. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Uh, I mean, this is not 8,000, Sam. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna play a little tribute fodder. I see, I see. But, Sam, you've locked your skills, bro. It's two level three skills, bro. It makes it level 11 if you read, you know? <laughs> You know, you know, it's just, it's just simple. It's just simple. If you read. It's just simple. You know, far it's just very simple. You know, if you just, if you just read. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Here he is. Um. Uh, this is the bouncy guy or something, right? This battles no, no, no. a face-up non-win destroy. Oh, it's Catastar. Okay. Oh, trip! Wait, what? You got Cyber Dragon on your wheel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, nice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey, it's like hey, 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 I'm doing, I'm doing something, okay? All right? I, no, I hope you don't draw I mean... a spell card. I hope you don't draw a spell card. That's it. That's all I'm hoping for. Why didn't you just duo me? What? You crazy. <laughs> you play duo, right? It's in your state. Yes, but I'm not, not dueling you. You crazy? <laughs> yeah, free Dark World Pluses. Yo, please, guys. See, if I beat you with this, Farfa, oh my god. That, Sam, I'm sorry. There's, there's no way I can lose here. Even you know, even, you, even with, like, five vanillas in my hand, like, I can't lose watch. to win. Alright, guess what? You're not drawing a single spell, alright? Okay. Alright. All right. Good luck, Farfa. Let's see. Pause, champ. <clears throat> Where'd your monsters go, Sam? It doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's returned to my hand. Uh oh. Is this a spell? Is this a spell? Is this a spell? Is oh, this a spell? No! No, draw no spells. <laughs> no, no spells. No draws. Hmm. Is this a spell? Can I get some discard fodder here? Like. Yeah! Yeah, I love the sound of that. Ah. Uh, Did you pass the turn, Farfa? Did you take a pass the turn? Let's see. 
There's no way I'm winning this, bro. There's no way. Yeah, I'm you not gonna lie. It's 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 really rough. For um, you or for me? For you. Oh, oh, really? Really? Go do something with your. Six okay, hand. Sam. I'm gonna summon a monster now and tell. It, 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 I want you to tell me how your deck outs it. Okay. Go. All right, one second. Um. Da, 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 uh. <laughs> Okay, right. How does your deck out a single Eater of Millions, Sam? Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I can't beat it. It's true. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Okay, <laughs> just, yeah. No, I, I can't. I don't think I can beat it. But I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just, you know, and, and you can't give up. Remember? Like, you can't give up until the last card is drawn. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, come on, come on, come on, man. No, I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna, I wanna see you pull, pull this off for sure. Okay. And face down goes the staple card. How sad. Cyber Dragon re reduced to ashes. Sure. Okay, I really don't know why I'm playing this uh, garbage card, but it is what it is. Um. Okay. All right. Let's. Please don't kill me. <laughs> well, uh, so, truth, truth be told, I'm, I'm actually killing you this turn. Oh, okay. Here's the scale again. Uh huh. Big. I mean, how does that guy work? Is like at the start of the damage step, he attacks. Like, so I'm just trying to fig uh, figure out if he like deals with the beater of billions. At the start of the damage step, battles a face up non wind. Oh wait, what? It pops it? Mhm. Mm I. I thought you can't beat it. Like I thought, you know, I, I thought, I, I thought you can. I thought I have no out to it. Like, is, is that? Oh, you're playing pendulum. That's unfair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna summon Hop Ear Squadron. Okay, okay. <laughs> Metal face. Uh, six, seven thousand. Okay. Boy, a lot of discard cards I'm not seeing in my hand here. <laughs> Why are you playing Hop Ear Squadron, by the way, without an extra deck? No, Barfa. Yes, it's for a beating school. You have to understand. Right. I don't know why when you when you got Wind Beast, you didn't think about like the whole deck is just a tribute summon. So there's no restriction on beating school that you can't tribute the monsters yeah. you summon, right? I mean, yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's uh, please get some discard fodder, like. A little bit of discard fodder, please. Any discard fodders? Okay. <sighs> discard fodder. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Damn it! I'm so stupid. <laughs> I am so stupid. Sorry, guys. Sorry. What did you do? <laughs> you okay, Sam? <laughs> no, I'm not okay, man. I'm actually so stupid, but anyways, you know what? We'll we'll deal with it. Mm. I, I hope I, I hope I win this game. No. <laughs> I hope I win this game. I just like fray. Okay. Uh, if I discard this guy, guys. So I just muted Farfa right now. So I think basically, I should have. If I do that, um, I should have never normal summon Hop Ear Squadron because now my Yosemite Secret moves is not live. Uh, because if I just kept this in hand, and then... it was trance. I you send you secret moves and it's done. It's game. Okay. I actually think this is probably. Okay, question mark. What does this do? Oh, Cerulli? Oh, dude, he's crazy. He summons itself to your side of the field, and then I discard a card. And then I, I get to trigger the effect of the, like, the other Dark World trigger. Oh, nice, 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 nice. That's really good. Yeah. That's um, really good. So I think I, 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 I graph a hand loop you. Oh, wait, is that not how it works? Oh, apparently that's not how it works. Dude, okay, in all fairness, you know, haha, -ha, not reading, but like the Dark World cards are some of the most. Oh, wait, I got both of them! What? Dark Graph is insane! <laughs> what just happened? I don't even know what the heck just happened, bro, but I just got destroyed. <laughs> you, this is even more broken than I thought it was! Oh my it gets just... both effects? Oh my god, dude. I didn't even see the other card in your hand. I just wanted this guy gone. <laughs> wow. That is unbelievable. That is actually, actually crazy. 
Okay. All right. Have we managed to avert an emergency here, Sam? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think Pram off the top would be ideal, right? Yeah, I think I, I, anything could help me right now. But hey, uh, me, this card, uh, Misak returns to my hand, by the way. Thanks, Farfly. I appreciate it. It's pretty good, though. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's actually... It's a Yosenju monster. That's... That's actually a Oh! I win! I win! Yes! I drew another scale! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, boy! Okay! Activate oh High Tots ability! Yep. <laughs> Make it 11. Oh, Sam! You locked your scales! They're both threes! Oh, man. Sam, you've locked your scales, bro! Oh! Oh! I can pendulum summon two! Let's go! Pen best deck! Let's go! Oh my go. god, am I dead? You're dead. What, you, what kind of a question is that? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this do before? You know, I have to read my cards. Uh, can I make a kill? Uh, attack one card you're pointing to return to hand. Each time this card is on field, it's returned to hand. Oh, wow. Oh! Add back oh. two Dark Worlds. Why would you play that in your Dark World deck? I don't understand. Uh, I, you... Well, I got Dark Fiend, oh. Sam, so I Oh, I oh not bad. Be... Well, yeah, you have Graph on your hand. It's okay. Yay, I add back my Banish monster and then die. <laughs> <laughs> Enter Battle Phase. I will attack with Hitot for game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> that is so funny. That that's a no, dude, real that's like, actual kudos to you, dude. Congrats! Like that, I, that, was, that was incredible. I'm glad you managed to get our game here. <laughs> oh, 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 you're glad I managed to get a game, right? You're glad? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I went easy on you, and uh, <laughs> oh, you, you had to tap into wow. the power of Stephen J. Trifonovsky for the win there. So like, <laughs> you went yeah. easy on me, huh? Uh, I'm still gonna make you go first because I like yeah, my please. card advantage. That'll be awesome. You got a good time? <sighs> hmm. No, I, I don't. Ooh. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. Oh no, not like this. This hunt is very bad. It does seem that way. All right. Um, if I go for this, then this. Uh, but I kind of don't want to give you cards right now if it's really that bad. Is obedient school need me to control monsters or can you just activate obedient school turn one? I, I, I can activate keep reading school turn one. It's, it's a, if, if I control no monsters, if I control no monsters. Okay, should I just go for this? Hmm. Yeah, why are you stressing out? You're really stressing against Wind Beast. I really okay. am, Sam. Okay, let's you're see. This is like, ridiculous. Like, this is ri this is ri you have something that's playable, and you're like, hmm, should I activate my Dark World dealings? Like, <laughs> like I mean, I, I don't know if I should give you cards. You know what I'm saying? Like. Hey, Bro, it's I have you, man. to be hey. very careful after last week where I managed to throw away a game to a deck I rolled off of because I thought it was that bad. Do you understand <laughs> the humiliation I've been through, Sam? It's a hey, scarring this. traumatic experience. My therapist told me, she gave me one advice and it was read your cards. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm, try I'm trying my hardest to, to listen to her. Okay, please. Okay, if I draw another uh, dude here, then it's pretty decent. Okay, that can maybe work. <clears throat> Get another chance here. Discarding fur hires. Wow, the disrespect, Sam. <gasps> oh, I can do the cool play! 
Oh, All right. It. Oh, Sam, I have an insane. Oh my that's, god, Sam, you're gonna love this. That's not good. Oh, the transfer machine. The transfer machine with the lure. Uh, well, I mean that's one combo. Um, but I have something even cooler. Watch this. All right, we're gonna go normal summon trans arch fiend. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay this card and then we're going to pitch this doohickey here. And then you're gonna bring it back. Oh yes. Uh, oh damn! I should have used this card instead. But it's fine. It's fine. We're here for the grand finale, which is this play right here. Are you ready for this? Watch this. The, ba the battle phase. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Thirty-six to the uh, noggin fogger. Okay. Okay. And then okay, main okay. two. Oh, you don't know how Sam. I put two copies of this in my deck just for this one occasion here. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Crazy bots. <laughs> what does it do? Yeah, honestly, Farfa, you're gonna roll a six, just so you know. A six? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna draw your Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for two. All right, here we go. Here we go. I believe. Yes! <laughs> that is just the most Farfa thing that's ever happened. In I'm this, like, you're gonna roll this match. I, said, I literally said you're gonna roll a six. I literally said you're gonna roll a six. Yeah, what's that the chat saying right now? Actually, just. <laughs> My <laughs> gameplay is summarized in a nutshell. <laughs> this is amazing. I actually need one card to, to kill you, just let you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 hello. Hello, it's me. And you're uh -oh. wondering the now. No. Oh, you <laughs> monster! <laughs> okay, that's good for you. Uh, okay, sure. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a monster. Dude! Oh, what? Oh, at least let me have that. Let me have my horn of phantom beast at least. <laughs> I just want to uh, Okay, so I want to do that for this. Okay, 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 okay. Right, 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 you right, have two right. cards in hand. Dark <gasps> Gates of Dark World! Well, not no. snow, not 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 snow. Don't discard snow. Okay, babe, it's okay. All right, let's proceed. Uh, vanilla beatdown, boys. 1900. I, I just need to draw one card. One card. I one card. do not trust in the crazy box. That's the last time I ever put faith in that card. I, I just, I. Why did I roll six? There's, I'd rather have halved my life points than roll six, Sam. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Sorry. Give, uh, give me one second. Let me let me read my cards. That's fine. <laughs> Um. Oh, it's turn five. Sam is against the ropes. He's on. He's losing on life points. He doesn't have much of a play, so he's decided to tap in once more, summoning Stephen J. Trifonovsky himself. Wait, what? Scale pass? Wait. Oh, it has to return to my hand. What? That's garbage. Oh, you've got... You send you the secret slash or whatever it's called. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. oh. No. No, not like this. Sam. Oh, my God. Like, no. I feel bad, I, like, because so I bad. somehow managed to, like, almost throw a game playing, like, an actual <laughs> broken, uh, like, combination here. Hey, hey, but hey, what hey, can hey. I say, dude? Bro, just give me a turn. Just give me a turn. Give me... <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm down. What is this like six two or six four or something now? I gotta. I, I want my staple. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. I want my staple, Sam. <laughs> no. <Let's go. laughs> Stephen J. Chekhovsky himself. Can I just, play. I just want to see what. Oh man, bro, my hand is full of Misak and Hitot and Magats in my hand, bro. I can, <laughs> I can, I can do anything for for. I yeah, I mean, it's, it's I, not a I good can, combination I, at all. I, I, I'm I surprised you managed to take a game, honestly. I, I tried, man. Honestly, I try, I try, I try to be Yugi for this tool, but I, if I, yo, I just wanted to see die back, man. So basically, my plan was, I thought hit uh, high Todd only activates when you increase the scale. Uh, right? Wait, it was so, the trap card you got set, right? Yeah. So yeah. So I got the trap card set. So so basically, like, honestly, like I would have lost anyways because I have a card called you send you'll send whirlwind. Mm -hmm. And it's affected. It's an activity by paying 800 light points. What? The yeah, heck? you bounce the Yusenju card or something. Yeah, if a Yusenju card is bounced to my hand, I get to bounce mm -hmm. a card you control. 
Right. Right. So right. So my so my plan was to just uh, so Hittite will return to hand. I'll bounce a card you control, and then if it's on the field, uh, I had secret moves. Secret moves only requires you to um, uh, control. You send your card, right? Yeah. 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 So. Like I could have negated your Dark Lord dealings and somehow survive maybe off the age. But like regardless, like I lost because like there's no way like I'm I'm beating that. Alright guys! That pretty much rounds off episode number nine. It was a rough one for me guys. It was a rough one. But it's all good. We'll get up in episode 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Guys, remember to smash the living heck, hit that thumbs up button to show your support. And remember, guys, every single week, every Friday is the Wheel of Yu-Gi-Oh! Challenge. All the other previous episodes in the playlist in the description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. Subscribe to Farfa. Follow his Twitch, guys. That'll be absolutely amazing. All the links are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam Sunny. All right, guys. Peace. Sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.